Good day, class. Welcome to Advanced Database System course. So for today's topic, we have updating data in SQL Server using VB.net. Before, tinuruan ko kayo kung paano mag-connect sa SQL Server. And then, I also taught you how to add data or add a value doon sa SQL Server natin. And then, yung last na tinuro ko is showing of data or showing of values in the list view. Yan, using list view, nakapag-show tayo ng value na nakasave dito sa SQL server natin. So, next, again, ang, ang topic natin ngayon is updating data in SQL server using db.net before i uh, before i teach you how to do that um tuturuan ko muna kayo kung paano i-copy or ikuhanin yung data na nandito sa ating list view papunta dito sa mga text boxes so first double click our list view one double click and then Sa list view 1, dito natin ilalagay yung codes. It means, kapag kinlik natin yung list view 1, kapag nag-click tayo ng item sa list view 1, dapat mapupunta doon sa mga text boxes. Balik muna pala tayo dito sa design. Okay, and then sa properties ng list view 1, check nyo etong full row select. So, ano, gawin natin true yan. Gawin yung true. It means, kapag naka full row select yan, so start ko, papakita ko sa inyo yung output ng full row select. Sample, ayan, di ba? Meron tayong category 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then, kapag kinlik natin si category ID number 2, nasa select siya ng buo, di ba? Uh, Na-highlight siya. Ngayon, kapag naka yun, dapat ang pipindutin lang natin is yung mga category ID. And since na naka-true siya, kahit pindutin niyo yung category name or description, maseselect pa rin yung buong row. Okay, so let's proceed. Again, double click. Ayan. And let's start with if statement. If list view 1 selected items that count kapag yung countdown ng ating select na item is greater than 0 then dapat yung mga text boxes si cat id cat cat underscore id dot text box dot text dapat yung magiging text niya or, or yung laman niya is yung value ng list view 1 or yung items ng list view 1 and then list indices indices yun, selected indices is 0, mag-umpisa sa 0, of course. And then, that text, 0. So, paano ko nalaman na 0 yan? Ito yung selected indices 0, ito yung pinagmumulan, yung parang nagsa-start ng uh, starting point. And then, itong text, that text 0 naman, ito po yung nandito yung bilang. Kasi ang bilang yan is 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So, dito tayo, punta tayo sa columns. Kung mapapansin nyo, di ba, yung numberings ng members ng columns is 0, 1, 2. Yan din yung susundin natin na bilang doon sa ating codings. Okay, next. Category name, that text, uh, I mean, underscore text box, that text. And list view items would be tuldok to ha, list view one dot items and then open and close parenthesis sa loob nyan yung 
indices natin again is 0, of course, always yan. That text, ah, sub-item na pala tayo. Sub-item, sub-item 1, that text, text na lang. Okay? Text. Alright. Next, description dot text na uh, description underscore text box dot text is equals to list view one and then sa loob dot items pala sa loob ng item natin list view item one dot selected in this is zero that sub item two two na yun na no? and then text ayan so yun lang ganyan lang kadali so kung marami yan so yung predudugtungan nyo lang dyan pa ah, dudugtungan nyo lang sunod sunod so magiging ganito yung output niya pakita ko lang yung output example select natin sa number 5 so, masyashow siya or makakapi niya yung laman ng list view papunta naman sa mga text boxes. Sa designated text boxes niya. Okay. So, dyan lang. Let's proceed with um, updating. So, sa pag-update naman, kailangan natin ng isang button isa lang muna. And then, pangalanan natin siyang update. Update button. Yung label niya or yung text niya is update. And then, click, double click the update button para dyan natin ilagay yung ating um, codes. Set of codes. Yung try catch natin. I-copy na lang natin yung code ni add button kasi parehas lang naman yan. Ang magbabago lang dyan is yung set of commands or SQL command na ating gagamitin. Now, we use insert into to add a data. Ngayon, ang gagamitin naman natin is yung update statement. Update. Update. Ang pangalan, category. Categories, yung pangalan ng table yan. Set. Category name. To at cat name. That name. And then, description. No? Description. Description is equals to at nababa desk. Where anong pangalan nitong pangatlo? Description. Ano? Yung category ID nga pala. Where category ID where category ID is equals to at anong pangalan ng category ID na text box? cat underscore id ah, copy na lang natin I know hindi nga pala natin ilalagay dyan so cat id na lang pala tayo cat id gamit nga pala tayo ng parameters so copy natin to and then paste tapos palitan natin to ng cat id and then this would be cat id cat id dot underscore text dot text okay so ayan lang and then papalitan natin yung message box gawin natin the data was updated successfully and then else the data cannot be updated alright so, try na natin. 
Try ko. Select ko muna yung dairy products. Cheeses. ano pwede natin ilagay dito? Cheeses and milk. And milk. Milk. Up, then, update. The data was updated successfully. Therefore, dapat yung description niya is magiging cheeses and milk. See? It changed using the update button. Now, next, balik natin sa dati. Cheeses lang. Update. And then, it successfully updated once again. Alright? Isama ko na rin sa topic natin yung pag-delete ng data. Since na same lang naman siya ng command, I mean ng try catch, yan, ganyan pa rin yung gagamitin natin, magbabawas lang tayo since na hindi naman natin gagamitin itong dalawang um, itong dalawang text box, yung isang text box lang yung kakailanganin natin dyan. So, let's add first a button. The delete button. Delete button. Pantay natin siya dyan. And then, double click the delete button. Copy. Copy, paste. So, ito. Yung, S, uh, yung SQL command niya, iba ha. Ay, may parehas lang siya ng mga set of codes. Pero, yung SQL command niya is iba. Anong need natin gamitin? Yung delete from where na command. So, delete from table name. Anong pangalan ng table name? Categories. Categories where where category ID Category ID is equals to at cat ID. Malaki pa lang si. Alright. So, ito, hindi na natin, ano na natin, delete na natin because hindi naman natin kailangan. So, next, uh -huh. the data was deleted successfully. The data cannot be deleted. Alright, start natin. Run natin siya. Tingnan natin paano mayayari. Example, si condiments. Buburahin ko si condiments. Delete. And then, the data was deleted successfully. Okay po ba? 